Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a fall makeup look for you using some new products that I have not tried yet. I know I've been doing a lot of these videos where I try new products, but it's because there is so much stuff coming out. I mean, around the holidays, we all know that it gets super busy and intense. So I wanted to share these products with you guys. And I also purchased this guy, which I have not purchased. And um, I finally did the other day and I figured I'd do a video on it because since this came out, I've had so many people ask me, to do like a review or trying it out so I decided to pick it up because I saw it in store I've never seen it in store before so I'm super excited about that and I have a bunch of other stuff too I actually just got these in from Pat McGrath which I don't know if I'm going to use them today because they are eyeshadow palettes but they're beautiful anywho I hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy this fall makeup look I don't know exactly what I'm doing just yet but I'm hoping it'll be good so we're just gonna hop right on in don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that post notification bell that way you're notified every time I upload a video and I think that's it so without further ado let's just go ahead and get started first thing I'm gonna uh, apply my Smashbox photo finish lid primer that has lipstick all over it so I gotta clean that I just got this out of my travel makeup bag, which I've been traveling so much the past week. And I just got back from a red eye yesterday. So I landed from my red eye yesterday because uh, I was in LA working on something super exciting that I can't wait to share with you. There's like a couple things that are happening that I'm excited about that you guys will see very soon. At least one of them you'll see very soon. I slept all day because that's literally what I do when I take a red eye. I just be, I just get so freaking tired. Especially when I go to LA, it's like a time change. And then I come back home and I would take a red eye doing that. It's just a whole lot of shit. And then tomorrow I leave for Georgia because you guys will probably see this after it happens but uh rosie days is birthday like the one year is this tuesday the 16th and i am so excited so i'm going down i'm gonna do some photo shoots i'm going to hang out with the girls and we're just gonna have a really fun time good stuff happening a new logo dropping i decided to redesign the logo and i'm so excited because i see rosie days just getting bigger and going places at least that's my dream and i wanted to redesign the logo to have like a set logo the first one we had was was something I designed and I tried my best I mean I was balling on a budget yeah so I designed that logo I really did like it but then I was like okay I want something just a little bit different a little bit more glam if you should say and uh, I love the new logo so you guys should go check it out down below I'll leave a link there's always the link to my boutique in the description box anyways um, I'm gonna be using like I said the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette this has been out for a really long time and out of all the things that she has came out with with Morphe this was definitely the product that everybody was obsessed with that I noticed. I did purchase, let me show you. I did go to Ulta. I was thinking of doing an Ulta haul, but I didn't know if you guys would like it. But let me show you. I did buy this one as well, even though people have been going back and forth with these palettes saying that um, they don't blend really well. Of course, I will give you guys my honest review. I have nothing against Jacqueline, but I, it's just what I've seen from different videos. I wanted to still pick it up because I love these colors. So I just wanted to try this out play with it because I do love the color combo. This one is the Armed and Gorgeous. Yes, Armed and Gorgeous palette. If you guys want to see a video with that, then let me know. But I did go ahead and pick this one up because I saw it in person. I have not seen any of Jacqueline's stuff in person before. Probably because my Ulta just now got Morphe's. And to be honest, I never go on Morphe's website. I think I went once and ordered some brushes. No, that was Ulta. See, I usually go to Ulta for everything. I will say, I'll be the first to tell you, I'm not like super huge on Morphe. I'm just not drawn to them and their products. I don't know what it is. I just, there's a connection that I have, like when I see a brand and I fall in love with them, like Makeup Revolution. I just, I don't know if you guys feel this way, but sometimes... I'll see a brand and I'll be like, uh, I don't feel like trying it. That's how Morphe was for me. I have tried a few things that I really, really liked from them. Like Jacqueline had another palette from them um, that was beautiful and I was obsessed with it like years ago. As of recently, like the last few years, I haven't been wanting to just go to their website and buy everything that's new just because I haven't been super intrigued by it, I guess. But this is one palette that I did want to try. I did not know it had this on the back. I thought that was so cool that it has the names and like a little picture of them. It's really beautiful. It's 35 colors. It is an all white palette. I'm kind of going all over the place. So you do get the sleeve and then this is what it looks like on the inside. And I think it's a really beautiful palette. Like all the colors in here are gorgeous. 
and I can't wait to play with them, especially these right here. They're very beautiful. But today we're doing more fall, so we're going to kind of stick in this area. I did just do like a more green fall look, so if you want to check that out, I'll link it down below. At one point, there was a time where I did like Morphe products, and I was like, I think I could do a coupon code with them. And then I just never followed through with it because I wasn't 100% behind it. So I don't have a coupon code. Sorry. I don't have one, but I know a ton of people have that code or a code with Morphe. So if you want a discount, I would just search it on Google. So I'm setting my lid with a powder because I believe these two, yeah, the two lighter shades in here look like they have some shimmer to them. So I like to set with a matte base. And then I'm actually going to go in with this brush. I purchased a couple of different things from Morphe when I went to Ulta because... Like I said, it was the first time I've seen everything in person. And this brush looks really nice. This is the Morphe M505. Do I have this brush? I don't think so. The color I'm going to take is this one right here, which, uh-oh. Okay, if I turn it upside down. Okay, so I'm going to take, no. Okay. So on the back, these colors don't line up with this. It's this color matches this color. So just FYI. I'm going to be taking Silk Cream, which is this one right here. The dogs are going to bark. And I'm going to throw this into my crease with that Morphe brush. There they go. I think this is a really pretty color. It's applying really well. I mean, there's like no fallout in the palette. So, so far, so good. I'm going to go into this shade right here. This is a MAC 221S brush. Never used this before, but it's a little smaller. It's like a little dome shape, so perfect for the crease, I feel, hopefully. But I'm going to put this right in the crease and then kind of blend it upwards towards that transition shade that we just put down. I'm focusing most of the color in the crease. Could you imagine if I put myself in the eye? <laughs> I'm focusing most of the color in the crease and then just blending it upwards. So I'm going to have lighter strokes when I'm working it up. And I'm taking this all the way from inner to outer corner. And I can go ahead and tell you these are blending so well so far. Like, I don't know. It's been a minute since I've really felt like something is just blending very nicely. And this is doing the job. It looks really good so far so good that is a beautiful shade I'm really loving that I wish I would have bought two of these brushes because I have never tried this before 221s I like it so far that is beautiful you guys that is like so good that's really good okay now I'm going to take should I take this pencil brush I think I will I'm gonna take this Mac 219s pencil brush from MAC and I'm going to go into this color right here and I'm going to focus this a little bit below that shade but still into the crease so I'm just going to kind of draw it with that pencil brush I'm just trying something new today so um, it's just like a different technique for me I guess so if you're wondering what the heck I'm doing I'm just trying something new because I was a little bored with my makeup application to be honest with you and then i'm going to take that same brush and i'm going to use that darker plum shade we just applied and i'm going to put it on that brush and again do the same motion and focus it right in the crease a little bit below and then do softer strokes up into the crease to really blend it out look at that eye that looks good i'm pretty pumped about this palette. This may be a new go-to. I am, I swear to you, I have not seen something blend like this in a really long time. This is amazing. Okay, now what we're gonna do, what do we wanna do? I don't even know where to go now. I'm gonna take this black, actually, and I'm gonna deepen it up just a little bit more in the inner and outer corner, or maybe I'll just do the outer. Actually, no, I lied. We're gonna take this brown. We're gonna take the brown with that same crease brush, or pencil brush, I'm sorry, and I'm gonna focus right in here. I'm going to blend this out first and then decide if I want to do it in the inner corner as well. So I'm going to take that same brush we've been using from MAC. I'm going to go in with that uh, burgundy type shade and I'm going to work it out. This is just going to deepen it up a little bit. And I'm doing small circular motions and I'm trying not to go too high with this. I just really want to make sure it blends out seamlessly. Seamlessly. So I'm going to add a little bit more dark brown in here, doing like a little V, and again, 
blending that out. Having that first transition shade is really nice to have as a guideline. Oh, this is so good. Looking at it on camera, it looks just, it's just, it's beautiful. I go in with this clean MAC 217 S and I'm just going over everything just to make sure it all blends seamlessly. And then I'm going to take this shade right here because I did not see this when I first opened it. I don't know why. I'm going to take that and I'm just going to add that into the crease as well. Just a little bit. Just add a little extra color in there. Now what I'm going to do is take this It Cosmetics bath brush. I'm going to spray my favorite little MAC brush right now and clean this off. I'm going back into this shade right here, which is one of my favorite shades. I think it is just amazing. Oh, that's not the shade. Oh gosh. And I'm going to, again, very lightly, focus this into that crease. I am being so light-handed with this, and I just really want to build this up. And then again, I'm kind of getting lighter the higher that I go. This is the MAC 242S. I'm going to take a concealer. So the one that I like to use to carve out my lid is the Tarte Shape Tape. Surprisingly enough, I haven't been using this for my face as much as I used to because I've been using the Jouer one. That is incredible. I still really do like this. I haven't tried the Jouer one to carve out my lid, um, but I know that this one works really well for that. So I'm just going to stick with what I know to carve it out. Putting my concealer on this brush, I'm going to go in here and carve this out so we could put a beautiful lid color on top. I do need a mirror. I think in, I'm thinking this one. Okay, that's what we'll use. All right, so I'm gonna go in with Queen in that same brush and we're just gonna put this right where we put that concealer. I'm gonna take my finger real quick and just amp that up. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into this fluffy brush in the orange color, and I'm gonna blend out the edges of this. Hey guys, so after going back and forth, this is what I have. I kinda like messed up my crease there for a second, so I had to fix it. But this is what the eyeshadow is looking like. Once I go in with concealer and foundation, it's going to really clean this up. But I am really enjoying working with this palette so far. I think I've enjoyed this more than a bunch of different other ones I've even tried lately. Um, like the Natasha Denona one I was excited about, but I wasn't obsessed with it. This one is good. <laughs> like this one is really good. It has all colors that I would love. I think I just waited way too long to buy this. I don't know why, but I... I'm really enjoying it. Okay guys, so I'm back. I've got my lashes on. I believe these are the Lily Lashes 3D Meek. My, yeah, these are the Lily Lashes 3D Miami Lashes. They're a little bit thicker and wispier and um, I really like them so far. I just reused them. I got this from her too. It says, I'm not perfect at what my lashes are and I keep my lashes in here so that I can like keep track of them. And I did line my eyes with the, the Balm Schwing Eyeliner. And now it's time to clean this up with some foundation and concealer. I'm going to be using my same favorite concealer. Er, wow, why can I not talk today? I'm going to be applying my favorite foundation today. It's the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation because, again, I do have more concealers to try out for you guys. That's what I'm doing today. I did use my regular primers as well, the Smashbox Primer Water and the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer to give me a really nice, smooth base. And, again, the two shades that I use in the Makeup Revolution one is F8 in the center parts of my face and then F12 for the outer parts that's going to match my self tanner really nicely. Again, if you didn't see my previous videos, I do like this foundation with a brush 
and with a sponge. I think it's great both ways. I just go back and forth using it however. So right now I'm on a Beauty Blender route. And for Beauty Blenders, the black one's definitely my favorite. I also love the Real Techniques Face and Body Sponge. That one I could get my face completed in a shorter amount of time. This one I like to use if I want to use like precise concealing and stuff like that because it is a little bit smaller. So Huda Beauty did come out with a new concealer. This is the Huda Beauty The Overachiever Concealer. I'm going to try Nougat. Nougat. <laughs> And this is what it looks like. It is a squeezy tube, and it looks like this. And she did come out with a sponge, too, but I'm not going to try that today because I already have my Beauty Blender wet, so I'm just going to use that. I'm going to use this one on this side. I'm really curious to see, like, how... I'm using this to spread it out right now. So I applied some, and then I'm using the metal applicator, which, by the way, is, like, cooling, so that feels really nice. And I'm just spreading the product where I want it. Okay, I kind of like that you can do that. That way you can really clean up whatever you want to. That was really cooling. I liked that a lot. And we're gonna go ahead and blend it out with the Beauty Blender. <sighs> um, holy smokes. Golly. First off, it's a little light for me. I'll be the first to say I'm going back over at my foundation side right now. I have never seen something this full coverage. Like, concealer-wise. Honestly, honestly. I'm not kidding. I can't see crap through this. A little bit goes a long way, folks. A little bit goes a long way, as always. You know how I do it here. We go big or go home. A lot of concealer or none at all. Let me take this Sigma brush that I've used with the Makeup Resolution foundation and just kind of pat this out a little bit more. Oh my gosh, you guys. What in the world is in that? There's a new full coverage concealer in town, folks. I know Tarte Shape Tape is full coverage. I love that so far. I think that's going to be my new favorite. I, you guys know I can get a good feel for things. And I think that is going to be my new favorite concealer. I'm going to go into the Pretty Vulgar Translucent Setting Powder that I love and I'm going to set my face with this. We're going to let that bake. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrow. So I'm going to use the Gimme Brow number two and I'm just going to quit doing my brows because otherwise I'll be here forever trying to perfect them. Now I'm going to bronze. I'm going to use this new Morphe M581 brush that I purchased. And I'm going to use my Anastasia bronzer in the shade Rosewood. Load up my brush. And bronze the cheeks. So I'm taking it down to the cheekbone. And then back to the hairline. This will also help us kind of match a little bit more. I feel like this brush is like that perfect size too. Now what I'm going to do, I like this brush so far by the way. I'm going to take this contour palette from Dior. I really like this contour palette. I mentioned it before. And I'm just going to use this brush from Sigma. It's the Powder Sweep F06. And I'm going to get these contour shades. And we're just going to carve this out. And I will just go over one last time with this brush to kind of blend it all together. So I still really don't match my neck that well. There's that. All right, now I'm going to do blush. I'm just going to use the same blush I've been using recently, which is this one from Palladio. It's the matte blush in the shade Chic. Okay, so now I'm going into this Morphe Lo-Fi Sculpt and Shimmer. I already have this in a darker shade, but I figured I'd get it in the lighter one because sometimes, sometimes that darker one is too dark for me. And let's just see these highlight shades. Oh, I don't really like them. I mean, they're pretty. These highlight shades are kind of duo, which I'm not really feeling, but we'll just see how they look on the skin, I guess. I'm gonna use my Anastasia brush, and I'm gonna do a little mixture of this one and this one. Hopefully we don't get too much of a crazy 
Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let's try this Makeup Revolution one. I'm gonna mix these two. Better. They're like super intense highlighters from Makeup Revolution. I don't even know what they're called because mine doesn't have anything on the back, but they're really nice. Now I'm gonna go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to use a smaller brush and we're going to go in with, I think I want to take this one um, underneath my brow. Ooh, That is pretty. Okay, so now I'm back. <laughs> I thought I was recording. So I took this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Alkaline and I just put this on my waterline right here just to really make that color pop because it looks very similar to this shade in the palette. Use this Dior 24, number 24 brush and I'm going to go into the deep dark brown right here and push this up against my lower lash line. So we're bringing that all the way from inner to outer corner. Now what I'm gonna do is go into this shade right here with my pencil brush, and I'm gonna blend out that dark brown. So that's what we've got. For lips, I have lots of choices here. So MAC came out with some new matte lipsticks. Ooh, none of this matches my shirt, which is kind of bothering me. So I'm gonna add this one all over. This one's the shade My Tweety. My Tweety, I don't get it, but okay. Then I'm gonna take that MAC lipstick. This is the lightest one. It's called Influential Influentially Lit. <laughs> I'm gonna put that right in the center. I feel like it looks sloppy. I know my face is really light and much lighter than my body <laughs> right now, but um, I like the way everything turned out. I think it looks really beautiful. I'm a big, big, big fan of this eyeshadow palette. I think if you're like me and you hadn't purchased it just yet, definitely give it a try. Okay, guys, so this is the completed look. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun doing my makeup today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not picked up the Huda Beauty Concealer, go get it because this is another favorite in the video. Let me know what you would like to see down below in the comments. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.